20 of the most disrespectful moments in football history. Three yellow cards in one match. When it comes to counting cards, even referees can get caught in a numbers game. The 2006 World Cup group stage match between Croatia and Australia was closely contested, with both teams striving to advance to the knockout rounds. Pressure on the player was intense with every decision by the referee under the microscope. Referee Graham Paul made an unprecedented error by issuing Croatian defender Josip Simonic three yellow cards before finally showing him a red card. The mistake was a glaring oversight in officiating and went unnoticed until after the match had concluded. Paul's blunder was widely criticised and highlighted the challenges a referee faced in managing high pressured games. It led to discussions about the need for better support systems for officials, including the use of technology to prevent such incidents. The Terry and Breach scandal. Off-field drama can sometimes overshadow on-field actions as Terry and Breach learned. In 2010, John Terry was a captain of both Chelsea and the England national team. Respected for his leadership and defensive skills, however, his personal life came under intense scrutiny when a scandal involving a teammate's partner erupted. It was revealed that Terry had an affair with Vanessa, partner of his former teammate Wayne Bridge. The affair became public, leading to a media frenzy and tensions within the football community. The incident reached a boiling point during a match between Chelsea and Manchester City, where Breach famously refused to shake Terry's hand. Terry lost the England captaincy and the scandal tarnished his public image, affecting his relationship within the team. It served as a reminder of how personal conduct can impact professional dynamics and highlighted the scrutiny athletes face in their personal lives. Reichardt's spitting incident. When words aren't enough, some players take things to a slippery slope. The 1990 World Cup featured a fiercely competitive match between the Netherlands and Germany, two top teams with a long-standing rivalry. The tension was palpable and emotions ran high on both sides. During the match, Dutch player Frank Rijkaard spat on German's Rudi Voller twice. The referee noticed the second incident and sent both players off, despite Voller's relative innocence in the exchange. The act of disrespect shocked fans and players alike. Rijkaard's actions were widely condemned as unsportsmanlike and inappropriate, leaving a negative mark on the match. The incident highlighted the intense emotions that can arise during high-stake games and served as a cautionary tale about the importance of maintaining respect and composure, even amidst fierce competition. Leeds fans cross the line. When rivalry goes too far, even fans need to be reminded of the boundaries. Leeds United and Manchester United have one of the most intense rivalries in English football, with matches often charged with emotion and passion from both players and fans. The history between the two clubs add to the intensity of these encounters. During matches against Manchester United, some Leeds fans chanted songs, mocking the 1958 Munich air disaster, a tragic event in which several Manchester United players lost their lives. These chants were deeply hurtful and seen as crossing the line of decency. The actions of these fans were condemned by both clubs and the broader football community. The incident highlighted the dark side of football rivalries and emphasized the importance of maintaining respect and humanity, even amidst fierce competition.